dear Aries, we are using the six card spread for your tarot reading for this week, June 28th to July 4th. The first card of the spread is Temperance. It reveals how you feel about yourself. You feel a need for harmony and balance in your life and indeed are starting to feel that some peace has already been restored. If you have been through some tough times, such as a breakup of a relationship or financial problems, peace will be restored. However if you are still experiencing problems, this is a time for calm, careful control and patience and you will soon have a sense of normality again. The second card of the spread is the devil. It reveals what you want most right now. The cards suggest that what you most want at this time you can't have, and like the forbidden fruit this only makes it all the more tempting. Alternatively you know you could go for something, but it would be a bad choice and you'd be doing it for all the wrong reasons. Yes, you want passion and gratification, just be careful where you go looking for it. The third card of the spread is the sun. It reveals your fears. You are afraid that things seem too good to be true, so much pleasure and joy, well enjoy it, sometimes we can be pleasantly surprised. If you have been unwell this is a time of rejuvenation and good health. Perhaps you are afraid that things won't actually get better, have faith you are about to enter a happy and pleasurable time. The sun heralds an ending to difficulties and a time to celebrate with friends and loved ones, a time of pleasure and good news around children or the conception or birth of a longed-for baby. The fourth card of the spread is the Empress. It reveals what is going for you. The harvest is here, you are entering a cycle of abundance, happiness and joy. Creative energy is high so if you are considering starting a family, a new job or artistic endeavor this is a favorable time. Relax and enjoy. The fifth card of the spread is the Hierophant. It reveals what is going against you. You are simply struggling to conform to others' expectations of you and everybody has an opinion of what you should do. Perhaps you are having a crisis of faith and are unsettled at a very spiritual level. Ask yourself who you really are. What is important to you? What makes you happy? Seek out advice or wise counsel if you wish, but accepting who you really are and going after what you want instead of what others want for you is the most important. The sixth card of the spread is the fool. It reveals the likely outcome. Open your mind and soul to new possibilities. This is a time to realize your full potential, follow your instincts and act on your hunches, a time for spontaneity, fun and surprises. However, be mindful of being too impulsive. Your decisions should be based on experience and knowledge of self. Dear Aries, in this reading we will also include your tarot card for this week, which is the moon. The moon is an elusive and confusing card. It suggests the presence of risks, secrets, and some level of mental confusion. It would warn you to take caution and be careful in whatever endeavor you are pursuing in your life. You have heard unknown voices and are about a new experience. Use caution. During the way temptations and false perceptions are lurking to lead you the false way. Everything looks mysterious and suspicious. Things are not exactly as they seem, however. Use caution. Finding a trusted guide in this period of life is very important. Love and private life. This card points to a highly emotional time in love relationships. Things can quickly become heated and uncomfortable. Take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions, and fight fairly, if you're going to fight. Pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in a hurry to end or to begin a relationship. This is probably not the best time for either course of action. Work and social life. Things unfortunately may not seem clear in the slightest. Ask questions and practice active listening to make sure that you and your co-workers understand each other perfectly. Again, patience is called for. Stay calm, and particularly if you are feeling attacked, give your co-workers and supervisors the benefit of any doubt. Reality may not be anywhere close to as bad as you think. Finances. If you are waiting on financial decisions that need to be made by others, the appearance of this card can imply that you'll need to wait longer. This is not a time to make business decisions based on anything other than absolute concrete fact. Health. 
definitely follow your intuition as to your health issues. If a diagnosis, whether that's positive or negative, doesn't feel right, or you don't feel comfortable with your health care provider get a second opinion or a new provider. For those that use alcohol or drugs, this is a time when it is definitely easy to overdo it. Indulge if you must but in moderation. Spirituality. This is a very spiritual time and a great time to get a reading, healing work, or other helpful input from spiritual types. You are more psychically open than usual now, pay attention to your thoughts and feelings, and to flashes of information that come seemingly out of nowhere. This is also a great time to access the great spiritual books of the world, you will get more out of them than usual.